obviously now I can't find the picture. Stolen was actually from my public middle school. I stole it. Like, it, it's, it still has the little card, you know, when those had... Yeah, I stole this, because I'm apparently a delinquent child. But, we're throwing things now. Hey guys, it's Jay, and looking through boxes for Christmas lights, and I found my old box of childhood books, and I got so excited when I found them and so many memories came to me so I thought I would share them with you so without further ado let us get started I kind of like split them up into like categories so my first category is like more like little tiny kid books that I read when I was like five with my parents so the first one is like I think a staple for everybody but it is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle I'm pretty sure like everybody and their mother read this book when they were younger I love the pictures and how like when you open them the little caterpillar is like inside the fruit it just I just remember reading it with my mom like there's so many memories with this book and I just I love it so much. The next book that I found was The Jolly Pocket Postman by Janet and Alan Alberg. This book is so cool. It's basically the story of this postman who goes on his mail route, but the cool thing about this book is there are little things that you take out and you can read them. They're part of the story. You get to have, like, read me. And then you go into the flap and there's, like, little postcards that you get to read and it's, like, kind of like an interactive thing. Ready? Ready? I just think it's a super cool concept. It's really interactive for kids and I just remember reading it with my mom and loving it. The next book that I have is so many memories. I loved this book when I was a kid but it is the unbelievable wash day playbook and it's kind of like the postman thing where it's like interactive so there was like a whole bunch of like chores that you were supposed to do when you were younger. But it's really cool because like things come out and you can like pretend that you're doing laundry and things are falling out. See there's an iron board which is broken because it's not supposed to come off. There, the iron board is supposed to be there. But you can like do the laundry and it's just like super interactive and super fun and I loved this book when I was little. The next book was one of my favorite books when I was younger and it is Super Completely and Totally the Messiest by Judith Voice. This book follows a little girl named Sophie who is basically the messiest kid in the entire world. She's completely, totally the messiest. And it's basically her older sister, Olivia, who is very, very clean, and she's just saying how messy Sophie is. But it's so funny because I related to her so much when I was little. My room was a complete disaster all the time. But I loved the pictures when I was younger. I just remember reading it with my mom and just laughing every time we would read it, so... Definitely one of my favorites because of all the memories. The next three books are from when I was a little bit older and starting to read, like, by myself. Which, you know, when you're a small child, you feel very accomplished about that. But the first one that I absolutely loved this series was, like, my entire childhood, and it is the Junie B. Jones series by Barbara Park. I'm sure a lot of you have read these books. My favorite part of the books was definitely always the beginning, when she would introduce herself, and her line was always, My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I like B, and that's all. I love that. I also really liked how there was pictures on the pages. You know when you're a kid and you don't want to read all the words because you're like, there's so many words on the page. So the pictures were really like helpful for that because you're like, I can get through this because there's pictures, you know? And then you still feel like a big kid because, you know, you're still reading a chapter book. The next two books are actually books that I've talked about on this channel a lot whenever I talk about like my favorite childhood books. And one of them is Pixie Tricks. This is a series by Tracy West. But they're so great. I honestly don't think they sell them anymore. But my favorite part about these books was that you got to write in the back and there were stickers and it was just so much fun. Like when you're a child, you're taught never write in your books, but these were actually made for that and it was like the best time ever. This series followed a young girl named Violet Briggs and basically she was able to see different fairies and pixies and little sprites and things like that and they always cause problems and she basically had to like solve them but it was so much fun when you were younger. The next books that I absolutely loved because I would read them with my mom when I was younger are the Naughty and Toyland books. I I'm not even going to try to say the author's name because I always butcher it and people make fun of me. I loved these books. It's really funny looking back on these books now because the pictures, he always looks like a little devil child. And it's like kind of creepy when you think of it because like he's creepy looking. And you would think that, like, as a child, this is scary. But no, I love these books. I guess I don't remember him being creepy. Like, he looks cute there. But in all the pictures in the book, he's terrifying. The next couple of books are from when I was, like, 7, 8, 
10-ish. When you're like starting to read the more like sophisticated chapter books and you feel all accomplished. So the first series is The Amazing Days of Abby Hayes. Like the next book I'm going to show you, it's kind of the same idea where it's a story and then she also writes in like a journal and you get to see her journal. Like everything written in purple is her journal. But there's like 20 books in this series. Like there's a lot of them. But I just remember loving it so much. The next series that I'm going to talk about is the Dear Dumb Diary series by Jim Benton. I had so many of them from the series. It follows a middle schooler named Jamie Kelly and it's basically her diary entries but every single chapter starts with Dear Dumb Diary and it has pictures and it's basically like her adventures through middle school but I just remember reading these and laughing so hard at them like they're so funny. Like The next book that I remember loving as a kid was The Frog Princess by E.D. Baker and this followed a girl who ends up kissing a frog thinking that she's going to help him turn back into a prince but she ends up turning into a frog herself. And I just remember reading this. I think this was my first like real big girl chapter book. The next two books are more favorites because of like the memories with them. The first one is Mr. Popper's Penguin by Richard and Florence Atwater. I read this with my mom when I was younger because it was like her childhood favorite so she wanted to like show us what she liked when she was younger but I just remember all the penguins in the pictures and I loved it because the penguins were adorable. It follows Mr. Popper who ends up getting 12 penguins and then he decides to turn them into like a show to like support his family but it's basically the story of these 12 penguins. But I just remember loving these books because I think with these books it's more like a sentimental thing because I read them with my mom and like it's more memories than actually remembering the story because honestly most of these stories I don't really remember what happens. If I started reading them again I would remember them but it's more like memory sake. And then the next book is the same thing. It's The Witches by Roald Dahl and this was one of the books that me and my mom would read at night together. She would always have us come into her room and read books with her to like kind of get us reading and like learning how to read and all that stuff. I remember being terrified of the Grand High Witch because she's so creepy. Basically any like Roll Doll book is like a childhood thing. Like everybody reads Roll Doll when they're little. The next two books are from when I was like a little bit older, like 11, 12-ish. They're more like the advanced chapter books of children. The first one is the Princess Diaries series by Meg Cabot. I loved this series. It was made into a movie with Anne Hathaway and Julie Andrews so like I'm pretty sure a lot of people have heard of it but I read the entire series and I absolutely loved it. Meg Cabot was like my favorite author when I was younger. And then the final book <laughs> was one of my favorite series ever because it was so like unique but it is TTFN by Lauren Miracle. I loved these books I think because it was so like different from anything I had ever read before but it's basically everything was like do you guys remember MSN it was like an entire story just told in MSN and I loved it so much there's three books I believe but I only had the first one but I just remember it being like such a cool book when I was younger. Alright guys, so those were a couple of my favorite childhood books. Let me know down below a couple of your childhood favorites or if you've read any of these books. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!